The Royal Melbourne Golf Club has a long, wonderful history. We were founded in 1891, and although we've had uh, three uh, moves uh, during that time, the site here at Black Rock, which has been our home since the 1920s, has the very famed Alistair Mackenzie design of the West Course, and uh, with his uh, tutelage, Alex Russell also took on the design of the East Course. So I think the, uh, the strength that we have are two magnificent 18-hole uh, courses, uh, true to the good Scottish doctor's uh, design principles and we also have the benefit of being able to incorporate from the West and East uh, courses 18 holes uh, which are of championship standard. The composite course does enjoy a top 10 rating in world golf. Uh, Mackenzie's principles uh, have been I think evidenced in both the East and the West course. Um, he was always uh, keen to have a golf course that um, presented different ways of playing. Um, he alternate routes in order to, uh, to, to negotiate each hole. He was also a person who liked to utilise the natural fall of the land and I think that that's very much evidence here at Royal Melbourne. And I think that some of our competitors, if I can use that term, or even our fellow clubs, they are really setting standards which I think any uh, organisation would be foolish to ignore. I, I, I don't think one can rest on one's laurels and just assume that one will be sort of top of the tree all the time. I think we have an obligation to capitalise on what the far-sighted early members of Royal Melbourne did in putting us at the forefront of Australian golf and I think we've got to try and match that legacy to make sure that Royal Melbourne retains its premier position in Australian golf going into the future.